Hi, I'm gonna do the September drill of the month again for Derp's Facebook group. Basically, this is the gonna be the junior varsity. I'm not gonna do any running today, thank God. So it's five rounds standing, kneeling prone at 50 yards on a target about the size of a paper plate, and then reload five rounds standing, kneeling prone. I'm gonna be using the same rifle as last week, but with a different optic. Uh, last week I had my Trijicon TR24 3G 1x4, and this week I'm using a Aimpoint Comp M4S, uh, two, MA, two MOA dot, and Scalar Works low drag mount. Really like it. Uh, won't be using the suppressor for this run. I'm gonna try to shoot it once without and shoot it once with. So I've got a surefire uh, closed tine flash hider on there. So. Also, I'm wearing a different plate carrier. Uh, this is the Warrior Assault Systems Covert Plate Carrier, CPC. Uh, Warrior Assault Systems, I guess, is based out of the UK, and they use United States materials or something. Uh, quality seems to be okay so far. Like I said, I've just, I just got it, so I haven't really got to run it in a class or anything. Uh, the plates I'm wearing are LTC, Level 4 Standalone Plates. I got these from Appalachian Training. At the time, they were $179 a piece. Uh, they were discounted a little bit, I guess, because they're not technically NIJ certified. But they, I guess, the, in independent testing, they met the, all the same standards uh, for the Level 4 uh, standalone plates. So, I mean, they're kind of my backup set. They're heavy as fuck. They're like eight, eight and a quarter pounds a piece. So I'm wearing you know, close to 20 pounds of gear right now, and it's there's not even any mags or anything on it, so pretty pretty cheap, pretty pretty substandard, but hey, it's it's it works, and it's for training, so let's do this drill and see how it works out. Am I even pointed at the right direction? I guess so, okay. Not really sure how many misses I had. I know a few, so I'm gonna do 20 points. So I did miss four uh, shots on that last drill, so I did do the proper amount of push-ups. Um, went okay, I guess. It's a little bit harder for me using just the aim point with no magnification. I like a little bit of magnification uh, whenever I do stuff. And my time was 42.65. Uh, I guess I forgot to even look at that last time. So, I don't know, not the best, not the worst. So I'm gonna put the suppressor back on put the suppressor on and see how it goes with this. Probably gonna make me worse. I don't know. Oh, the, the malfunction that I had earlier was either due to the, the magazine spring being a little weak and not jumping the rounds up in time. The, the bolt kinda, kinda caught it and put a dent in it and then it got stuck in the chamber. It didn't chamber all the way, kinda mouth shaped. And I'm using Wolf Ammo again and I seem to have all my problems with wolf ammo, uh, obviously. So, but it's cheap, or it was cheap whenever I bought it. 
now brass ammo is about as cheap as the, the wolf ammo. So not really gaining a whole lot there, but I have it, so I'm going to use it. Let's try it again. So I know that was three misses. My timer didn't pick up anything because I'm using this depressor. So notice a lot more gas in my face coming back up even in my nose and then up underneath my sunglasses. That's why I stopped kind of on that second mag. I waited for quite a, a little bit to let it all clear out. I mean, I could barely breathe. So let's see, 15 push-ups. This plate, plate carrier is not very comfortable. I wish I had some shoulder pads for it. Kind of take some weight off. Like I said, the plates are really heavy. Uh, and they're single curve plate. That's why this is sticking out so far. If it was a multi-curve, it would curve back in a little bit and hug my chest a little better. Single curves aren't terrible for the back, but for the front, you want a multi-curve. So yeah, that was not too bad. I wish my timer would have picked it up, but and it will. Now I'm just going to have some fun. <laughs> 